My name is Kyle Malanda. I'm from Malawi and my practice is primarily photography. The creative process question is always really hard because I don't really... The experiences and the work are mine, but the visuals don't come from me. I get a lot of imagery through dreams and so I sleep a lot. So that's a huge part of my creative process. I wouldn't be able to create if I couldn't sleep. Um, so that's how I get the messages for the work and how, to, how the work is supposed to look. So that's a huge part of my creative process. But I usually work by starting with a concept and then storyboarding it out and sketching out what it'll look like, refining it. I also do mood boards a lot. And then um, it takes me a while to get ready for an actual shoot. I don't usually just pick up a camera and Sometimes I do, but most of the time, especially for work that I think is stronger for me, I definitely have to um, think it through a little bit. And that can be a process of a day, or it can sometimes be months. Collaboration to me is not necessarily something that comes naturally to my practice, just because I started working in isolation and I still kind of work that way. And for a lot of artists, art, art making is an isolated process. You stay in your studio, you stay on your computer, you don't really interact with people. It's been interesting trying to get out of that comfort zone and working with people and just seeing how they think and how that then strengthens my work. So I'm looking forward to collaborating more. I kind of wish I'd started doing it sooner. <laughs> I started taking photos six years ago and it was only last year when I collaborated with my sister that I actually really worked with someone else for the first time. So I'm looking forward to keeping the trend going and, and my work is stronger because of it. I think this residency started impacting my work when we were in Johannesburg because I never thought about working with augmented reality and virtual reality and now that's sort of changed everything. So even not necessarily collaborating but just being a witness of other people's work has really strengthened my own and collaborating with others here in Maputo has been so eye-opening for me and I just love how people think, you know, we look at the same problem and we see entirely different things and we come up with entirely different solutions and it's really interesting trying to mix those together so that you have like a cohesive piece of work. Definitely more augmented and virtual reality. I started toying with that over the past month and I really enjoy it. How the narrative can change and how it allows you to see things that aren't there but are there still. And I definitely want to work more with that and I'm working towards a film project actually that's hopefully going to shift how people experience films. So I'm really excited to incorporate that. Um, it's already in my work and I feel like it's going to change the rest of my um, career, at least for the foreseeable future, because I see where I want to go now and it's not something I would have considered had I not been part of this program.